Norwich International Master. Um, I'm going to talk about some uh, ideas uh, today uh, that I developed um, over the past 13 years in chess that uh, have helped me a lot, and uh, I've been teaching it to uh, to students uh, for uh, for some time, and uh, it's been uh, pretty successful. <coughs> So uh, we have, um, in chess, we have 64 squares. We have uh, 32 light squares, 32 dark squares. You know, we think of it certainly as uh, one battle um, to checkmate. <coughs> but in reality, there's, uh, I like to look out of it, I look at it that there's two battles going at the same time. There's a light board. And a dark board. Today we're just going to give a little uh, introduction to some things. It's not going to be super comprehensive. I want to introduce you guys to um, some of these ideas. So we have two boards. Um, light board and dark board. Two battles, two boards. 32 light squares. On one board and the 32 dark squares are another board. Two boards, two struggles <coughs> going on side by side. Both of them are important, and uh, we want to build on both boards in harmony, in balance and harmony. Both boards, very vital. We can't control one board without the other, so we want to have both boards and uh, always focusing on controlling both light and dark. How do we build? How do we build? We're going to use the pieces and pawns, of course. The pieces are builders, and the pawns are bricks. The pieces are builders, the pawns are bricks, and we're going to build a beautiful home, a beautiful dacha. <clears throat> a dacha is a summer home. I'm going to try to build a beautiful home. Mike, you get the, 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 co uh, the coffee, please? Guys, one second, please. That, uh, that was, uh, uh, sorry about that uh, interruption here. Here we're back. Um, this is how my lessons run anyway, so you're privy to a real lesson, not uh, just a video. <laughs> I will get up and uh, take interruptions, and uh, that's what's happening here. Okay, um, we have, again, we have light and dark, two boards, two struggles. We've been trying to build a beautiful home, and um, that's the, the idea. Let's uh, let's see uh, a, a, an example. Okay. And uh, we're putting the pawn here. Uh, G3 is uh, what we would say controlling uh, some dark squares, preparing a fianchetto of the bishop. The light bishop will be fianchettoed. <coughs> Knight of six, controlling the center. Bishop g2 is uh, controlling uh, the center as well, activating the pieces, which is uh, very important. And uh, knight c6 is uh, is a good uh, control of the center, developing. And um, here we have no position, uh, and we have an interesting situation where a bishop takes knight is uh, is a possibility. Uh, we could play bishop takes knight. And um, okay, experienced player will will know that uh, bishop takes knight is uh, is not a very good move. And um, <clears throat> the reason why is because we're giving up the light bishop. We're giving up uh, uh, the control of the light squares. You know, we the bishop pair is is a valuable weapon. And if we give up the light bishop, we're uh, we're actually uh, giving up important part of that weapon. Why is the bishop here such an important weapon? It's because we want both colors, light squares and dark squares. Each bishop is the general of its board, the general of its battle, the general of its board. For instance, the light bishop is the general of the light board, and the dark bishop. <clears throat> is the general of the dark board. So here we have take take. Let's assume white gives up the light bishop. Suddenly he's become weak on the light squares. Now 
I might have thought he's becoming, uh, if you ask an experienced player, he's going to say, well, we're weak on these squares, certainly. Uh, the reality is actually it goes a little further. We, we're actually weak on uh, all the light squares. Okay. We're actually weak on all the light squares, and uh, the reason being because the whole light board is missing its best light builder, the bishop being a very strong builder. It's fast. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, it's fast, long range. We lose the bishop, we're, we're weak on the on that on that board on that color. So let's see what could happen. D take, D take C, knight f3, g6, so far normal, d4, castle, maybe e3, creating a nice structure. And you know, this is a... Uh, known to be a pawn chain, but there is a problem here, and the problem is that uh, White is neglecting something very important. He, he's putting his pawns on dark, he gave up his light bishop, there is something missing, there is some, there's no harmony, there's no light square control. Uh, and uh, Black will punish will punish um, White for this, and by getting his light bishop activated, and by showing White that that he has the light board, he has control over the light board himself. So pawn takes, pawn, bishop here. And um, this bishop is very, <coughs> very strong. And uh, okay, and white develops. And uh, we have a very bad situation for white. Even before this, it's already getting bad because White has uh, decent development. He's about to develop. Well, well his, pe his pieces are somewhat developed, let's say. He has some control of center. He has these pawn chains, which are strong. They protect uh, some squares, and they're, they're well protected. Now, there's nothing in danger in, in pieces, but the squares, there's no harmony on the light and dark, and uh, he has no light square control over his position. There are a lot of holes on the light squares. And uh, black will uh, will take over uh, these uh, light squares soon. Already, it's a, <clears throat> a bit of a problem if the knight moves. Knight's attacked by the queen and bishop. If the knight moves, then queen uh, queen h1 is uh, is mate. H1 is Check mate. mate. And um, knight d2 is uh, protecting uh, the knight. But not for long. Let's say knight e4 attacking the knight. Notice how this is real long-term problems. This is not going away ever because there are some real core issues, which is problem. There is no harmony. There is no general, and white has done nothing to make up for the missing general. Take, take, queen e4, king g2, only move. It's a very sad situation. The king's in, in a pin, but it's only move to save the piece. And now, of course, we know that if there's a pin, we attack the pin with the g5, g4, and uh, that's... Uh, that's going to be a problem for, for white. Um, actually, it's completely over. F5 and um, take, take, and uh, this is over. This is disaster and uh, resignable. What led to this? Clearly, there was one thing, more or less one huge thing. It's, he didn't, he didn't kind of, he focused on, well, he developed, he did everything right. He, he maybe put, he could develop his, and uh, he developed and uh, he controlled some dark squares. But no consideration for light square control. In order to have a beautiful home, to have this dacha, to have this beautiful house that we're trying to construct on the chessboard, it uh, we need harmony, light and dark. Otherwise, controlling half the board, there's no harmony. It's nothing. It's not beautiful. You know, harmony is maybe not just chess, and but chess is certainly no uh, no different. We need harmony, light and dark. We don't have no harmony. It's a problem. And um, obviously, the the big <coughs> the biggest mistake, excuse me, was giving up uh, the light bishop uh, in the beginning. That was already a big problem for White. Um, queen takes e4, king g2. Yeah, so this is already hopeless already. Let's say, and uh, I want to show a position. Let's assume knight e4 comes, and um, let's put the bishop here. Um, let's imagine White still had his bishop. 
now uh, it's uh, it's different, and uh, White has um, clearly has his some harmony. He has Light Bishop, and he has uh, some of Light and some of Dark. And um, with the Light Bishop, everything's going to change. Now that he has harmony, uh, before Black was pressuring White in this diagonal, clearly it's not nearly as dangerous with the Bishop here. In fact, White to play will actually win. Well, the, the tables have been turned. Uh, knight <coughs> knight one is fine. Knight h4 is actually the better move because it actually corrals uh, the queen. Uh, on all, the queen has no escape. Attacking the queen with the bishop behind to boot, but of course qu queen takes. Knight takes, winning the queen clearly. Uh, queen f5. The queen is mm, literally trapped, and uh, this is um, game over. How did this happen? One little change. The bit we added the bishop. Well, clearly with the bishop, um, everything will change because there is harmony, and it just shows comes to show how important the bishop is. That we get crushed on light without the bishop, we get crushed on light. With the bishop, we crush black on light. So that's uh, an interesting thought about harmony. It's about the power of bishop. Well, let's go back to uh, to the original position. Um, Go back to the scene of the crime, where White gave up his uh, his his bishop, and clearly there's a mistake. Giving the bishop for no reason, especially with the fiend shadow, the ready ready weak, clear weaknesses. Not to mention that we said the whole light board is weak, and all 32 light squares feel the heat, feel the weakness, feel the loss of their their general, and. Um, with uh, without the bishop, it's uh, it's a bit of a, it's a quite a problem we saw. Now, um, let's let's say for for a moment that uh, we did this mistake. Okay, you know, let's say we made a mistake. It clearly happens. You can't live. Say oh, I made a mistake. Ah, this, this is terrible. Or you know, let's uh, let's say we're going to give up. There are times when you're kind of forced to give up a bishop. Sometimes there are even there are even times we'll be seeing. In, Maybe not today. We'll see, but um, we'll be seeing uh, situations and discuss at length. Bishop versus knight, knight versus bishop. Which is better? When? Why? Colors based all based on colors, all based on judgments and uh, and uh, we're trying to get to, to to the understanding of chess. What's really happening in terms of uh, color and uh, harmony? And it, it's all in bishop versus knight. Uh, which is better? You know, the oldest question is which is better, a bishop or a knight? Well, you know, we uh, we it is hard to. No one really has a clear answer. They say various answers. We're going to talk about how it's heavily, heavily, heavily color based. Uh, but going back to here, there are times where we're gonna well, even want to trade a bishop for a knight. At the same time, maybe the knight has some value. The you know that we we want really want. However, regardless, if you lose a bishop, there is a problem that you have no general. So you lose a bishop. There is no light general. There is no harmony, unless you do something about it. What is that something? What can we do? Um, and uh, the answer is every position has its, has its own nuances, but more or less it's it's pretty across the board that we're gonna we're gonna put um, our pawns on the on the square of the missing bishop. Okay. Normally we're gonna normally in this structures. You know, we say, okay, you don't have a bishop, you put the pawns in the color. This is known in theory. You put the pawns on the color of the missing bishop. You put the put the pawns in the other color. This because you don't you're not blocking your bishop anymore. You know, if I had a light bishop, I may not want to put all my pawns on the light squares. Now that I don't have a light bishop, I'm happy to put my pawns on light. This way my second bishop is free. Dark bishop is free. But there's more to it. By putting the pawns on light not only are we freeing the first, the second bishop, but we are rebuilding our missing bishop. Let's see this. This is a pawn chain. It goes back to the days of uh, I don't even know, maybe Steinitz. It's you know, but one, you know, it's it's a, one of the oldest thing uh, fundamentals of uh, chess understanding of positional play, is that we have pawns like this. Is a pawn chain. It's a strong feature. Um, but. Um, thought of some ideas about this and uh, I like to think of this as more than just a uh, pawn chain it's actually a miniature bishop okay this is a mini bishop uh, on, on, on a light square so it's 
we've actually constructed a handmade mini bi a handmade bishop more or less similar to a uh, a regular bishop that spans from here to here um, doesn't span the whole diagonal it's, you know but it's uh, certainly uh, it's in the center and it's uh, controlling a lot of squares like a bishop would be uh, clearly it's a light square bishop why are we putting on light squares because we lost our light bishop we're rebuilding our missing bishop and creating a new sense of harmony a balance and harmony e4 is a good move here knight c3 developing castle and now we have uh, f3 is good and um, again the same idea we have uh, pawns on light squares um, the reason being we're creating more mini bishops uh, light bishops and uh, this is going to be helpful for uh, control of uh, the light squares and uh, rebuilding our lost bishop and rebuilt in a larger sense rebuilding that harmony and we don't really need pawns on dark because uh, we're missing our light bishop not our dark bishop we have our dark bishop, we're happy on dark, we need help on light. We need help, supply it, harmony, balance. And we castle. Notice that the king is relatively safe now. This is instructive, you know, the bishop is uh, same position. Black has done the same thing, but with a little minor differences, white has uh, made a comfortable situation here. Uh, on light squares, and uh, white is uh, has rebuilt his uh, his harmony. And uh, see, bishop e three maybe. And this position is okay for white, maybe about equal. And uh, this just comes to show that you know we saw so in the previous example white was getting in bad shape with his bishop, maybe the queen coming. Notice how these pawns are on the one hand, firstly rebuilding our missing our missing light bishop but also building against his, making sure that his light bishop, he still had his light general, let's not forget. Now, it's not without resistance. It's met its resistance in the form of a handmade general. We created handmade general, uh, the, a new bishop, a mini bishop. So this is a valuable uh, feature. We lose a bishop, we're going to aim to rebuild with pawns acting as mini bishops. This is important in terms of bishops and, um, and in terms of harmony and this is uh, uh, I think a, a good thing to keep in mind. Okay, there's a lot more to talk about. Maybe we'll just call it a day for today. Um, in terms of introduction, I still want to talk you know, maybe next time we'll talk about um, knights versus bishops. Um, where knights come in, where bishops come in, where their respective values. I want to give values in terms of colors and uh, each piece has its influence on specific colors and when to know when to trade a knight for a bishop and a bishop for a knight um, is heavily based, almost exclusively based on colors the, the chess theory says that normal chess theory says that uh, we're going to prefer a bishop in an open position a knight in a closed position but I I've thought about it and I think there's there's a lot, lot more, and we'll talk about that uh, next time. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, have a nice day.